is a Game Caviar production. Not having it in the Game Caviar Lounge. Finally, I got my hands on some Titanfall. This is the beta. Just downloaded it not too long ago, maybe about an hour ago. And I'm going to give you my initial reaction to it. My first thoughts about this game is that it is very fast paced and that's something that I like I do uh, like the way that the, when the action starts there's no stopping it unless you uh, purposefully take yourself out of the fight these maps don't seem that big actually this map doesn't seem that big it's the only map I've really played on um, and uh, even though the teams are 6v6, there are a bunch of grunts and whatnot, like computer controlled players that uh, you can kill for points and whatnot. For me, it was hard to tell who was who uh, as far as who were the grunts and who were the actual other human players. But uh, I do know that it. Yeah, the, the, the pace is so fast that it really doesn't matter. I mean, you see an enemy, you shoot an enemy, this, that, and the third. It's just like any other first-person shooter. But for me, uh, and I don't know whether all the maps are this small or, or not, what I saw was that it was a confined space. It wasn't too small, but it was just the right size to where you were always near an enemy and there was always a battle that was going on somewhere so that's a really good thing another really good thing is the controls are fluent and uh, there is no problem if you've played call of duty before you can pretty much pick up titanfall and uh play the game without any uh, well with some minor uh tweaks uh, but not really i guess the only thing is that they you know you have the cloak which is something that Titanfall has that obviously Call of Duty doesn't have. And uh, the Titan controls are uh, pretty standard. Uh, before you get into the match, though, you do have a, a big, I thought it was fairly long, tutorial. But the tutorial was, uh, it was, it was very thorough. And it was easy enough to understand everything that was going on without overwhelming you. Uh, like I said, the controls are similar to Call of Duty. The only thing that you have to pick up is uh, how to control your Titan and the different things that the Titan can do. Uh, this, that, and the, I mean, you know, just uh, like a boost. And the Titan has a, uh, like, its gun. And, I mean, you know, even the Titan's controls are pretty much similar to uh, being on foot besides the boost. Uh, if you've played Armored Core, then you understand what the boost function does. Basically, it, it's like a dodge, almost. It allows you to dodge left to right uh, or back. I, you could probably dodge forward, too. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Uh, right now, I'm using my Titan, uh, anti-Titan gun. Everybody gets equipped with one, and it basically does exactly what it sounds like it does. Uh, this one is a simple lock-on, and you fire a rocket that is very effective and damaging titans and the lock on is pretty fast so uh it, you don't have to wait forever for it to lock on and it does a a pretty good amount of damage so uh, within four or five shots you can destroy a titan and I, you just saw me do it right there and i think i do it a couple more times unfortunately for this match i did not get a chance to get my titan so uh it it got destroyed and I didn't get a chance to get into it, but there are going to be more videos. The beta is only four days long, I believe, so I'm going to be putting a lot of time into it. And uh, you see right there is some lag, but again, this is a beta, so I don't know whether that's going to continue into the game or not. I haven't pre-ordered this game yet, but after playing this, this is a game that I definitely want. And it's on PC, too, but uh, what this allows you... Uh, wait... What the game allows you to do is to use your Xbox controller on it, so that's why you see the RB and all of the uh, normal button designations that you see on the Xbox, because I'm using the Xbox controller, so uh, I wanted to make sure I let people know that this, this isn't the Xbox One version, this is actually the PC version. This one ran on uh, 720p, and 
I need to see whether I can change that or whether that's just something that it does. I, I thought that there was a, a big fuss a while ago because uh, it's running on 720p on Xbox One. I'm not sure whether that's the same on a computer. Uh, but like I said, I need to get into the settings because maybe I just didn't have it set at the optimal setting. I noticed that some of the textures were kind of bland and not as sharp as I would like to have seen on a PC. But I don't know whether it's because of a settings problem or that the makers of the game didn't want to have settings that were so huge that it would turn off a, a, a big group of gamers. Because not everybody has a... a um, a crazy gaming machine like you know I threw a lot of money into my computer but I can understand why they would go for a lower uh, minimum spec because you they want a lot of people respawn they want a lot of people to play the game and I think that's pretty cool so uh, while the graphics aren't as sharp as I thought they were gonna be they're not horrible graphics at all this isn't like playing uh, like police quest or space quest you know the old DOS based game so don't be too uh, disappointed in what you see because uh, I definitely wasn't I mean I was totally immersed into this game and right now I'm getting to the drop ship and I only have a certain amount of time to get there if you make it to the drop ship you do get extra points so uh, I know you can keep fighting but definitely think about getting to the drop ship but this is just about the end of the video hold on let me check and see how much time I have left um not that much uh, like I said, this weekend you'll be seeing a lot more Titanfall videos as the beta goes on, probably to the end of the beta. And I will be getting this game. I'm going to pre-order this weekend. I'm not having it, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.